10 and 0. Queen's out early. Let's attack the queen. See what's going to happen here. Let's take the queen. It develops their knight. They win that kind of tempo. And let's just bring this knight here. So we are behind because we've moved the queen twice. It's coming in for a glorious shot here. The bishop can actually defend the pawn. It's a bit of an ugly position for the bishop, but it is defending the pawn. So they're taking advantage of being up that tempo, but have they kind of given that tempo back to us because they've moved the same piece twice? That's the question. So we're going to attack the knight and see what they want to do. So it's crucial. So the thing is, if we take, then the pawn takes is on our knight. We can go and attack their knight. Pawn takes if they do take. Pawn is a little bit isolated in the center. Potentially supporting here. Looks a little bit ugly, doesn't it? Let's go and castle and think about what we might do, depending on what the opponent does next. Looks like they want, oh, just about to say, looks like they want to keep the tension. Out of these, probably taking with the bishop is probably better because it's in an ugly position at the minute. If we take with the knight, we're kind of keeping the bishop in that ugly position. So we're going to take, so it frees up the pawn. They're moving dead quick, so it's almost almost feels like they've done this before. So we have the option of pushing the pawn up. It does block the bishop, but we're so familiar with having this bishop blocked that I don't think I'm going to lose any sleep over it. Just going to bring the um, pawn up here. And then I'm going to attack the bishop because we like that. Let's take it off the board. So now we've got a half decent, half open, open file for the rooks. If we can make it work. But it's going to beat us to the punch. Going to still try and double anyway. And still going to continue trying to double. Knight's got a nice position here. Bishop's got position, but the bishop's there con currently controlling that. So I think they've taken a few steps back now, especially with the knight move back here. The rooks aren't linked up. But we have to make it work for us. Just because these are negatives doesn't mean that we can make it work for us. <laughs> we do have the bishop that can come here. Again, it's just baiting a pawn down. This is nice, but how nice? We'll just see, because it can come into here, putting a check on the king and the bishop. Okay, so it can free up the pawn, which is doubled anyway, so that's no, no real problem. So it's doing its job. We can still go and put the check on the king, but the king can then come and attack. We do then have this moon over here, but it's not really doing anything too juicy. So shall we just leave it there for now as an option to put a check on the king? Obviously, they'll probably move here. All right, so we do have options of pushing the pawn onto the pawn, seeing if we can open up some space. It gives a bit of space for the dark square bishop as well. I think we're going to go with the option of putting some pressure onto the pawn in the center. just for yeah okay so they're taking so let's just grab here and it's just those brief moments of the tempo losses that the opponent did going backwards we're trying to take advantage of that this bishop does have this pawn here anything else that we can do bishop can move here but uh, i don't know if that's going to work because then the knight is going to be attacked so i'm going to push the pawn here just to take it off of the span of the bishop and they're moving a bit quick so it's almost like they feel they've got something sewn up i do like this and it, it's giving the bishop something to do more positive so it's attacking the knight but also can squeeze in here and disrupt the rook a bit bishops move back so it's almost like it's done a non-move so we can go and put a check on the king. The king can no longer attack the um, rook, the knight, sorry. So he has to move across. So it seems a bit positive, but it's not winning anything big. But a movement in time, I suppose. Put a check on. Maybe, whoops, maybe we can start touching on the pawns. Pawn takes, pawn takes. Is there something there? 
or yeah i'm going to sacrifice a pawn we're going to be down a pawn but maybe better position with potential attacking the rook which is blocked by his knight at the moment So attacking the bishop bishop has no protection but can be protected quite easily so i don't really see the problem with that yet <laughs> let's uh, support the bishop i don't really see a problem with the position could always attack again couldn't he knight can take So I think the opponent is making us look like we, we, we're putting pressure on um, because then their pieces aren't working together as a team to attack. So we're trying to just keep giving them things to think about, which is giving us that winning tempo. But there is no clear way in at all. Yes, so now that's the thing we wanted to see. Because if they do take, then we do have two pieces on here. So we can take the bishop, rook takes. All right, so we can push on to the bishop, but we're not going to do that. I'm just going to take, I think the knight will take. I think there's still enough things going on. The pawn's going to push on to the bishop. The knight's going to have to take. So we're going to push here to see if we can get rid of this knight. Trying to maintain some sort of focal on let's take I don't need to say anything because they did it is there some magic with what they're doing okay so if we take and then it's going to be checkmate nice very smooth okay 10 to no let's try and practice the targeting appropriate targeting but also keeping the king safe and when we say keeping the king safe it's just making sure it's got enough company for it to feel confident that um it doesn't need to worry so it's not necessarily about castling it's about ensuring that the king feels happy oh let's take this queen off the board shall we attack the knight with the pawn smaller piece so it is attacking. We can bring the bishop out. King is happy because the smaller piece can defend here. It's not worried about any of that. There's nothing major that can go wrong. So this pawn is being attacked, but we can smaller piece attack. But the knight is going to come in or the bishop is going to... Well, yeah, the bishop might attack. So we can bring the bishop back here, but defending... The rook is then going to come and put some pressure on the pawn here. So we're going to lose the pawn because of the position of our king. Is that correct? That is correct. Can't put any checks on his king. Well, we can with the bishop. Drops the pawn. So I think bringing the bishop back is going to work. The rook is going to quickly move here. Putting pressure onto the pawn. We can still push here with this pawn defending. But because they're going to have the x-ray through to the king, might be a little bit difficult. Could just go opposite their king. All right, they've not done that. So it does probably give us a moment in time to attack their knight with the bishop. So it might have been a move order thing. I think putting that rook on there would have given us a bit of, bit of trouble. But the opponent didn't do it. Okay, so we could go with the check on the king. But let's go and castle. King safety. We do have pieces around our king. Now the rook comes and attacks the pawn. Seems like a little bit late to the party. Shall we develop more pieces? Let's develop more pieces. Get the knight off the back. Knight can come here supporting the pawn. This bishop doesn't have any protection, but it is behind this pawn. He's looking to line up, but also his king doesn't can't castle, so he has to virtually castle. So I think if we go opposite their king with our rook to put some subliminal pressure on, then it takes his rook out of the game if his um, king goes across here. 
for a brief moment. So potential ideas of attacking the bishop with a check on the king, tripling the pawns if the knight takes the bishop. The knight's coming and attacking our bishop, which is protecting the pawn. Let's put the check on the king, like we said, and triple the pawns here. Let's take. Do we really want to give the bishop up? I don't think we do. I think we're going to keep it. So I'm going to move the bishop. I'm going to move the bishop. King's on a white square, so we can x-ray through with the bishop. Could have done that, actually, before we moved the bishop. So that's narration mode kicking in there. Could have done that. So I think I've lost a bit of time. Oh, I haven't really. I've got it. I've got the time back. So the pawn's obviously going to come and protect. So again, disheveling more pawns. So rook's going to be opposite our king when we do it, if we do take. Is there anything else? Doubling the rooks. Because we still got the x-ray through, so we could use that tempo to just double the rooks. Yes. Yep. It's attacking the bishop now, so we could still keep the bishop attacking and x-raying through to the king. Or just simply take. And just bring double the rooks. I think that's good enough. We can start swinging across, maybe and attacking the pawn. Rook obviously calls to defend. And so the bishop now is freeing itself up. And just going to continue with attacking up at the top. And try and give them something to think about. I think they're looking to come here, aren't they, to protect... So we can touch here, but then it's going to block out, block our rooks. Oh, magic. I should have seen that before I did that. Yeah, little things. These little things creep in in your games, don't they? So we can come here, but then he's going to come here. So we may as well do this move first. It's not saying that he would do, but he has the facility to get to do that. And he's not happy with that. He doesn't want us doing that. So I'm going to go here, get the rook here. So he's taking, let's go here. Still can't come here. Oh, he's trading. He's trading. He's got a pawn here. Let's. What do we do? Let's see. If we take his rook comes down, he's going to have a back ranker on us. If we come here and attack... Then he's not going to get the back ranker. So we need to make space. But that's a white square. So maybe blocking up here with the pawn at some point. Okay. We're in the deep thinking phase now of the game. Because it is. We're only plus one. So that's neither here nor there. That's nothing major. So he does capture. So we're still owning this important file. King is probably going to attack the rook now. Because he wants his rook to come here. All right, he's not doing that. So it's not tasty to actually come and do this, but he's going to do this. So I'm going to push. Don't really want the white square though, do I? If we push, is his bishop getting in? Bishop can come here. I'm going to push. Don't want to overthink it too much. It's just it is a white square, and it could get some position. Oh, that's why we didn't want to do it, isn't it. So we can't even move here. We can't even move there. Shocking. So we could do this, but then he takes, we take with a check on the king. The king can go up or down. No, he was not going to go there. He'll go here. And his rook has got the facility to go for a checkmate because the king can't move. Ooh, I did that to myself. Silly. 
forward. Maybe just push this pawn. Blocking. I'm going to push this pawn and block and see if the king can mobilize a little bit or something. <laughs> Maybe not on the white square, but come across. Oh, he's captured. Oh, he's got a pasta. He's got a pasta. He's got a pasta. And it's still a bit of a sticky situation, isn't it, for my king? Okay, don't overthink it. Is he just going to defend with the rook? That unstickies my king a bit, doesn't it? Yeah, it doesn't. It unstickies me a bit. But this pawn, I don't know if I'm fast enough. I don't think I am, am I? He's going to get here. Oh, no, no, no. Let's go here. Let's take. Okay. I'm not a fan of that. Let's go here. If he forgets himself. Because he's going to want to try and get round to this pawn here to get this pawn promoted. Put a check on the king. Or else we're going to be in trouble. Push this pawn. This rook can't come to defend. King, no, you're not king, no. Get back. This rook can go anywhere then, really, can't it? Just stay on this side. So he's going to have to go to this side here to come down and put a check on the king. His rook can't get to this pawn. Sorry, to get this pawn. He'd have to go one. We go one. And then he'd have to go one to get rid of the rook. But that will get... Yep. And get the check on the king. Checkmate, it looks like. Ouch. 